This lesson is about the types of atoms that living things are made out of. And this image, this is a representation of an atom. And SHNOPS is an acronym intended to help you remember what those atoms are, the atoms that living things are made out of. And we'll talk about what those are in just a moment, but first let's talk about what an atom is. If we were to take a bar of gold and cut it in half, what would we get? We'd get two bars of gold. What would we get if we cut each of those bars of gold in half again? We get four bars of gold. Well, what's my point? My point is, if we keep cutting the gold in half, are we always going to end up with gold? Can we do this forever? The answer is no. We can't cut a piece of gold in half forever and always end up with gold. Eventually, we'd have a piece of gold so small that if we tried to cut it in half, we'd destroy it. And we call that smallest piece of gold an atom. And all matter is composed of atoms. So this isn't true only of gold. There are 118 different types of atoms, and we call the different types of atoms elements. And we arrange those elements into what's called the periodic table. That's what you're looking at right here. Living things are made out of atoms, and the six most important atoms that you need to know in a biology class are carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. And the color coding here, it has no significance other than that. I want you to remember them in pairs. It'll help you remember them. Carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. Let me point one thing out here. Look at the periodic table. In the periodic table, these elements are basically grouped together. You have carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur right here, and hydrogen's kind of over here by itself. I have two MCAS questions I want to show you. Cellulose is a complex carbohydrate that makes up the cell walls of plants. Which of the following elements are main components of cellulose? Well, we're talking about the elements that a living thing, plants, are made out of. So we're talking about carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. So obviously the answer is B, carbon and hydrogen. The body structure of a reef building coral consists of a hard skeleton covering soft tissue. Which of the following elements is most common in the coral's soft tissue? Again, we're talking about the elements that a living thing is made out of. So we're talking about carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur. So the answer is A, carbon. In this lesson, we saw that all matter is composed of atoms. Atoms are the smallest units of matter. And the different types of atoms are called elements. And we saw that the six most important elements in biology are the CHNOPS elements. Carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur.